Hello and welcome to the monthly tool review. Uh, today I'm going to talk about these um, tube making tools which you probably have been waiting for for a while. Um, I have two slightly different ones here. The one is um, European style. This one with four different uh, openings. The other one is a Japanese style tool. It has just two openings and one starts as a very wide one and ends up as a very small one. Um, so it's basically the same one from both sides. Uh, I personally think this one is probably easier to use just because you have you know four options and you are gradually shrinking your uh, piece of fabric or leather going through these four openings whereas here it's quite a drastic change from quite wide to quite you know going from quite wide to quite uh, thin opening so uh, I'm going to show how to use them um, these tools are a bit different in terms of um, holding them and uh, things like that. I will be showing them on the table. Uh, another option is to hold um, the, a sol the soldering iron between your knees, um, you know, jump between, between your knees, so you have both hands uh, available for handling uh, cloth or leather. Um, you have to be really careful because you know the tools are really really hot so uh, if you do use your knees for that please wear jeans or something you know some thick trousers and an apron uh, don't do it with your you know naked legs or anything like that so the tools need to be obviously warmed up if you work with fabric you, the fabric has to be pre-stiffened my leather is also pre-stiffened um, to be on the safe side you can try with not stiffened leather maybe it will work but I guess it's probably going to be less um, predictable I would say uh, if you when you cut the fabric uh, you need to cut it on the bias for the uh, for the tubes like this and uh, it's about uh, a centimeter centimeter point two millimeters wide about this width same with the leather so you see the sort of similar uh, you also need to prepare a little piece of wire just any wire because uh, this is what we're going to be holding and pulling the uh, fabric or leather with through the hot tool so we don't we're not touching it uh, at any point so uh, let's uh, warm up the tools and let's see how they um, how they are working Um, I have securely placed my tool um, on on a um, uh, box and it's uh, weighed down uh, with a bag of uh, millinery tools so it should be pretty steady and I have both hands to show you what we're doing so um, let's check how we do uh, tubes with fabric first you have your uh, strip of uh, silk um, or other fabric I have uh, denim here as well it's probably better to use uh, fabrics which have a bit of weight a bit of body to them organza is quite thin so I don't know you might experiment and find that it's okay but probably the ones that have a bit more weight like satins dupioni I have here um, linen cotton denim things like that should probably be uh, easier to work with and will produce a more consistent result so to avoid being burnt I'm going to stick a wire into the fabric if I can. and um, secure it with a couple of twists make sure you do twist it because otherwise it's going to be in the way when you start pulling it through the holes of the tool right so i have it um you know have my wire secured in the strip of silk and now we're going to start by pulling the silk through the largest hole first make sure you are directing the fabric the way you want 
to be it to be directed um it will um this little point we can cut off because it's also going to be in the way Pulling the fabric carefully through the largest hole, trying to create um, a tube shape straight away. As our fabric is cut on the bias, you will see that your strip of fabric will actually uh, elongate, will become longer, because it will stretch. So after the first hole, it's quite an uneven, very loose tube, but uh, um, the most important thing is that we can see the tube shape straight away. So next, the next step is going through the second tube, it should, second hole, sorry, it should make it tighter. Uh, have your tool reasonably hot, so it does shape the fabric. At the same time, make sure it's not too hot, because we're doing it quite slowly, and it might burn the fabric if it's too hot, especially if you work with white fabrics. Okay, after the second uh, run, it is a bit tighter, a bit more even. The third one now, so it's becoming a bit tr more tricky to do it. So guide your fabric carefully through the hole. See it shape into a tube. Right, and the last one, the smallest hole, so it should complete our task. Right, so here, here is the, the tube that I made out of um, Japanese silk. Uh, you'll see it might be uneven in places. It will definitely need trimming uh, on either end. So where we have the wire and the other one, they will not be tidy. This sort of length could have probably been cut in two uh, because it's quite long or depending on where you want to use it. The tubes are used for decorating uh, flowers for uh, false stems so the, here are two lengths some artists um, add a tiny bit of glue uh, in the seam and um, make sure it's sealed I'm not going to do it now um, the tubes can be unrolled if you want they're not you know completely sealed with this tool but uh, they're reasonably uh, sealed enough for me to use in, in my designs I probably wouldn't add any glue there so here are the silk ones and uh, you can try with different fabrics as I said not only silks and they can make a nice addition to some designs and um, uh, be used as little you know s some grass imitation of grass or uh, stems the Japanese uh, artists often use it for uh, for stems of their flowers like fake stems so they won't, won't uh, be attached to the flower, they'll be just uh, attached uh, to the final design as a fake stem on the, on the brooch or something like that. Uh, so the next one to try is this um, leather one. So leather, as I said, mine is stiffened, flat stiffened, you can find uh, how to do it on my blog. You may try and use unstiffened leather, but I believe it might be a bit less predictable in in here but maybe worth trying uh, again I have uh, secured a piece of um, wire on, on one end of this uh, uh, strip it's an, again another uh, about uh, one centimeter between a centimeter and a centimeter and a half wide and um, the principle is exactly the same. The only observation is that, you know, you probably will need to keep your tool slightly cooler because leather it does not take uh, as high temperatures as fabric. So it will start burning and shrinking and will give an unpleasant smell. So watch the temperature of your tool. 
if you need to cool it down you can always do it with a cool uh, wet cloth so you, you can hear it's uh, sizzling quite a bit so let's try and do it with leather as I said the principle is exactly the same here so first going through the wider tool wider hole forming um, a preliminary tube which looks quite okay already but still not very tight then the next size we'll tighten it up leather is actually quite okay to shape here yes yeah, so it's making it's it's become a bit tighter and smaller in diameter the third size Okay, so I'll try and do it on a spiral so it's tighter. And uh, the last one, keep it nice and neat. right so here is the leather tube you can see you can still open it you can probably run it another time if you want uh, I might seal it a bit more but again I'm not particularly bothered about the tubes being able to open up slightly if you are you can add a bit of glue and glue them so here it is it looks quite nice and slim and um, again same principle of um, using them adding to you know your flowers brooches um, you know head pieces wherever you want so you can trim them you can use it again as a false stem if you want you can try and thread the wire inside uh, another option and then you can you know manipulate it a bit better so here are the options that um, you could use the tube making tool for again um, to remind you this tool you can buy as a um, part of the 14 piece or 22 piece uh, millinery tool set uh, this tool you can buy separately if you want it's it's sold by itself unfortunately this one can only come as a part of a bigger set I don't have them um, I can't offer them separately because they don't come as separate pieces uh, so if you have uh, always wanted to try how to uh, you know to make your own tubes out of silk uh, or leather now is uh, the time now you know how um, please um, check the comments below the video I'll leave the links uh, to the tool sets and uh, other supplies that uh, have been used in this uh, little tutorial speak soon Bye-bye.